today I'm in West London to meet Andrew Byron. He's an actor and next week he's travelling to Moscow for meetings. I'm here to help him choose an outfit. So, as you know, I'm an actor. I work mostly in Britain. Um, but because I speak fluent Russian, oh, wow. I often get cast as Russians. And I've long been an admirer of Russian films and Russian film directors. And I really want to get into that whole market. My agent has arranged some meetings mm -hmm. with agents and casting directors out there. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm going out there next week. The locations haven't been fixed yet. So it could be bars, restaurants. Uh, it could just be at somebody's house. What would you normally wear? Pretty much what you see the way I am today, jeans, t-shirt, jersey, occasionally shirts. Mm -hmm. um, from Moscow is quite style conscious yeah. as a city. Money talks and you need to look good, you need to look stylish. Mm -hmm. So um, I want to come across well, obviously. Of course, that's fine, we can easily solve that. Mm. But we also, what we also have to bear in mind is that you have various meetings throughout the day. We need to find adaptable and versatile outfits that you can wear throughout the day, smart enough for a restaurant, but cash enough for maybe a bar meeting or something. Yeah. Like that. Cool, well that's, that's not a problem. Good. Let's go and have a look what I brought you. Great, yeah. So, Andrew, here we go. Look number one. The, the red, almost burgundy jumper you're wearing is 100% wool, so it's quite thick. You know, it's, it's a good layering piece, especially if you're going to Moscow. The shirt, the colour is white, as you can see, but it's actually almost pinkish in the rest of the shirt. And that works nicely with the brown five pocket Gantt corduroy trousers you're wearing. And at the bottom you'll find the Oliver Sweeney brown brogues. Let's try the jacket on as well. So what you're wearing is a Polar Ralph Lauren hunting jacket. Quite nice details on the back for the pocket where obviously the game goes. How do you feel? Overall I like the pieces in, um, individually and as a sort of ensemble. Uh, I think for what I'm looking for though, we're looking for something maybe kind of a bit more urban. A bit smarter as well. Yeah. This is essentially a casual look. Here we go, this is look number two. The shirt is a light blue chambray shirt from Polo Ralph Lauren. The cardigan is a cashmere mix cardigan from Kin. Very soft. The trousers you're wearing are from John Lewis and Co and the chunky brogues are from Grenton. Very thick sole is almost as good as a boot. Let's try the coat. The coat is from John Lewis & Co, 100% wool. Pea coat is a very classic and timeless item and it will always give you an air of authority, I think. To go with that, we have a bag. A nice, thick, sturdy leather. It's a John Lewis bag. It's the real deal. Yeah, <laughs> serious. What do you think? Um, overall, uh, the pea coat's lovely. Uh, a step warmer. Yeah. Um, very nice, I love dark blue. This being Moscow, you know, casting directors, parts. I think I want to see if we can go a little bit smarter. Maybe we should introduce a jacket or something. Like sort. a jacket, a blazer, something like that. That yeah. sounds good, yeah. Perfect, let's try number three. So, Andrew, this is the last one. Yeah. The jacket this is from a, a brand called Selected On. Sort of like a donkey jacket, fusion with a suit jacket. Very British. The shirt is a pinstripe Polar Ralph Lauren shirt. Trousers are petrol blue chinos from John Lewis and Co. And black brogues from Kurt Geiger. Let's try on the coat. Great. So now you're ready for Moscow. Hmm. You got French coat from John Lewis line. State of the art tweed. Double breasted. Which is a good look. Now to go with that we have this Ralph Lauren canvas bag. It's nice. Cool. So how do you feel about the, the whole ensemble? Yeah, it's great. I think what we get with this one is that thing that actors want when they meet other people is for other people to be able to see them in a multitude of roles. Mm -hmm. I take it this is the one you prefer out of all of the looks? Yeah, of the three, I liked all the clothes, um, but this really does what we set out to do today um, in terms of Moscow. Warm, stylish, comfortable. It's great. One thing you need is these gloves. Ah, I'm ready to go. You are indeed. Cool. Thanks, David. My pleasure. As an actor, when you dress for a casting meeting, if, if it's a general meeting, you're not going up for a specific role. You want to put the thought in the casting director's head that you could be everything from a road sweeper, thug, football hooligan, to white collar worker, CEO of a company, politician, 
you know, world leader, whatever it is. So you need to find something, you need to strike a balance with your clothes. You want to be comfortable, that helps you to be relaxed. And uh, something which they can, they can see your potential, I suppose. So hopefully what I'm wearing today is going to do just that. Both these meetings today are really important for me. Um, Constantine is really big in television, does a lot. Yulia, who I'm meeting tonight, is a big casting director. She does a lot of films out of Moscow. This business is very much about personal relationships. It's like any, any business, really. And establishing a bond when they really know who you are, what you are, what you like, what you stand for. If they like you, they're going to want to work with you because that's how the business works at the end of the day. We want to work with the people that we like. And those are the people that you, you invite back again and again. So um, I think this is a, it's a great opportunity for you. Yeah, so the meeting went really well. Um, I'm really happy. It was, uh, I was a little bit nervous to begin with, um, but Constantine's very nice. He's a really nice guy, and we had a good chat. It was very relaxed. And um, he told me all about the projects that he's got lined up, what sort of things he's, he's got in the pipeline, and I think there's, who knows, maybe some possibilities there for me. Yeah, so I've got one more meeting tonight, which I'm going to now. Uh, this time it's with a casting director. So I'm hoping that's going to go just as well. I'm quite excited about that now.